Okay, this is what happens when you have a terrain and somehow the terrain is not flat on the side. So you can see this thing is floating, the building is floating on one side, and on the other side, the building is within the terrain itself. So it doesn't matter, the more, the higher you adjust, the, the more floating. Uh, let's say if I adjust the height to be higher, right? And you will be, you will have like a more floating at the bottom. So it just look weird. So what we need to do is uh, somehow flatten the terrain. So uh, first open up your QGs and go to plugins, manage plugins. So what you have to do is install a plugin called several. This one is like a ra uh, it let you uh, do the ed editing for the raster files. Okay, so what it does is allow you to do a small zone and modify the value of it. So this is the location where is the, oops, sorry, uh, my location of my DTM. Okay, so if I go like this, uh, you will see my DTM value uh, seems pretty different. So what you have to do is somehow use this tool and circle a zone and do a right click. And afterwards, uh, you can apply a value to it. Let's say the height to be 200 uh, meters above the ground. So what you do is just apply the selection. So what it does is actually drop down all the value within the line over here. Okay, so if you want to do like a river, like a drop down, you can do it. And in this case, we probably want that to be polygon. So I would want this area to be flat, okay, to have the same height. So probably like, uh, let's take 248. Okay, and then you do this thing again. So what you can see, let me see if I can do it. Uh, hue shade. Uh, to be more clear, apply. Okay, so you can see the value over here, uh, more or less to be a more like a platform where the, the building is. And the band will be like 248 open one so all the other part of the mountain will be stay the same okay so if you go back to the map that I loaded up the new layer right you can see the difference where uh, this part will be flat so let me raise put the building down where it touched the ground okay so in this case we will have more Align terrain. Okay, you won't have a building that is floating anymore. Okay, so you can see the difference. So this is like a, the terrain before, right? And this is the terrain after. Okay, so you can see the difference. Let me take take away the cut the building away and you can see again before and after okay so after the mountain is quite flat and that's it